So I'm in Facebook Ads Manager for a client account and I've manipulated the data a little bit, changed the date ranges so we're not uh, showing any data that I'm not allowed to show. But if you don't have Ads Manager set up for a business page, go ahead and log in, set that up. Um, it's really, really straightforward to create an, an Ads Manager account. You put in your billing information, so on and so forth. It's very straightforward. This is not a, meant to be a complete a tutorial on how to use Facebook Ads Manager. That's a whole separate can of worms altogether. But I do want to show you how to create uh, click to messenger campaigns so we could then use them with Mobile Monkey. So I'm in the under the campaigns tab, you have four tabs here, account overview, campaigns, ad sets, and ads. And I'm going to be under campaigns for the right account and I'm going to just click create campaign. And I'm going to name this campaign. And the first thing you need to do is choose your objective. Okay, so we're going to always be, I'm going to be creating a new campaign. You could use existing campaigns to duplicate certain settings. You have the option to switch to quick creation, which I don't like doing. Um, but basically right down here under this consideration middle panel at the very bottom, you have something called messages. You need to select messages as your messages type. If you don't do that here, you will not be able to change it later. You'll have to create a new campaign. So we're going to name the campaign um, AMG Messenger Ads. Okay. I have, the option, I have the option to create a split test or do budget optimization. Both of those things I'm going to leave off because I want to be able to control budget at my ad set level um, because we're going to see how we're going to set up the ad groups and the ad sets. Click continue. And now you set up your first ad set. Naming ad sets is it's, it's a good practice to just come up with some naming conventions for who your target audience is going to be. So let's say this is for remarketing. I'm remarketing to previous website visitors. That might be one thing. If you're remarketing to people under a certain age group, that might be another thing. So I'm going to create an ad set for men. And I know that I'm going to put this ad set at aged 35 and up in the US. And if I do end up adding additional interests, I'll update the ad set name. Under messages, this is where you could choose the type of ad you're creating in this ad set. Click to messenger or sponsored messages. Remember we spoke in the previous lecture about these two different formats. Click to messenger is where you want to be 95% of the time. This is where people are going to see an ad in their newsfeed, the desktop newsfeed, mobile newsfeed, Instagram, click the ad and pop up a messenger window connected to your chatbot that you were going to build in Mobile Monkey. So you go ahead and select click to messenger and now you have your audience. So I'm going to create a custom audience. Um, I'm going to click, okay, everyone in the United States, I want to do 35 and up. And now the reason I'm doing this is because I know this, I know this company, I know this client, I know where they get the most performance. I know that certain groups of types of people, demographic breakdowns, will have more volume and will have more engagement um, and, and end up booking more services. So I want to be able to control the budget for those different segments. And I'm going to choose men and English speaking. We could talk for hours how these interest and behavioral targeting settings work. But just as an example, if you see here, these are previous ones that I've used. Like we had, we were running a campaign for this client for the Electric Daisy Carnival. So people who were interested in that carnival that was happening in Vegas, we ran a really heavy campaign during the days of that carnival promoting our service to carnival attendees. And there's lots of different ways you could set up this targeting. So for now, I'm going to narrow this audience based on people who have showed interest in alcoholic beverages, okay? The theory is that people who are engaging with the beverage brands, alcohol brands on Facebook, liking, commenting, are also people who probably are more into drinking in general, which means they're probably people who are more likely to get hangovers, which means that they might be more likely to be interested in our service for IV hydration. And there's going to be lots of different ad sets that target different types of uh, drinkers and then different types of people who are in the market for IV therapy for different reasons. But let's, if I go into detail targeting and I just start typing alcohol, I get um, alcohol as an interest. Um, let's see, let's see, alcoholic beverages, that's what I want to do. So it shows me a size, 363 million people. Um, I'm going to click that and add that and it's showing me that my audience segmentation is still rather broad at 14 million potential people, but that's okay. Um, we, could, could go, we could go in and continue to work on this audience and refine it over time and we're going to test different audiences and different ad sets. Um, I, could ha I could save this audience, but I don't need to save that right now. I recommend leaving it on automatic placements, which will allow the ads to run in, in Facebook. Um, 
in Instagram and in Messenger, okay? It, Messenger ad campaigns by their nature do not have the audience network available, so there's no reason to edit that. I usually do remove the audience network because I just don't like it and it doesn't perform as well. But in this case, when you're doing click to Messenger ads, there's no reason to edit the targeting. You can just leave it on automatic placements. You're gonna give a daily budget to your ad set, okay? That's how it works in Facebook. Every ad set has its daily budget. Back in Google Ads, every campaign has a budget, not every ad group. In Facebook, your ad set, you could set these budgets at the ad set level. So I'm gonna put a budget for now of just $100. Obviously your budget will, all be, will, will be based on what you could spend or what your marketing budget is. I am not gonna have a start and end date and under advanced option, there's a few different things we could do. You're very limited here with messenger ad formats with what you could do in terms of bid strategies and, and, and how you get charged, etc. But I could set a bid cap. I could say that I only want to spend X amount of dollars per reply, per engagement. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to start that off with $1.50 per reply. Now remember, that doesn't mean $1.50 per messenger click because not everybody who clicks the ad and gets that messenger bot sent to them is going to reply. I want to try to optimize this for the lowest, for a bid cap of $1.50. Facebook will be optimizing my campaigns. They'll be auto bidding for me to get the lowest cost possible per reply, but I'm telling them that I want to cap that at $1.50. If you cannot get replies for less than $1.50 a reply, then don't, don't keep spending my $100 a day. I'm going to go back in and readjust the settings and try to optimize the campaign to be a lot better. And we're going to click continue. That's our ad set, our first ad set, and now we're up to identity. So you're creating one, you're creating your creative now, you're creating your ad inside your ad set. So I'm gonna call this ad how many minutes or, or how long does it take rather. And I'm gonna tell you why in a minute, why we're naming it this. I could use an existing post from our Facebook um, account and I could select a post down here or I'm gonna create my own ad. And in most cases, you should be creating your own ad because your ad should be formatted specifically for Facebook. Before we get to the ad format identity, make sure your Facebook pages, of the, make, make sure the Facebook page of your company is selected. And then also you could select the Instagram account that you want these ads to be associated with when your ads show up on Instagram. Under format, we have a few different options. We have the carousel where you could have multiple images and they scroll to the right and left. You have single image, single video, and a slideshow where you have looping video with up to 10 different images. Mm -hmm. 